Hi, I'm Diane Lane, and this is my turn. Childhood can feel as though we are living for our parents. As a child of divorce, I had the experience of actually being fought over. Well, my parents got divorced when I was incredibly young. They like to say 13 days old because can you believe it, it was less than two weeks. They always planned on sharing me parentally, but I never saw them as a couple. It was really tricky to live between two strong, passionate, interesting, fiery parents who are not united in any way. <laughs> you have two perspectives and you value them equally, even though they're kind of oil and water. And I like oil and water as an example because you have to shake it up to get it to mix. And it only lasts for a few minutes and then it separates again. So I'm constantly shaking myself to allow for both points of view to be represented in how I conduct my life because I honor both my mother and my father. Well, my father was the son of Southern Baptists and it made him reject religion and embrace science. My mother, you know, she had ambitions of being an actress and a singer. She was also a painter. I thank her for my looks, my voice, I love to paint. There were no secrets with us, which I treasured. I feel very empowered by how honest my parents were with me. Now they're not here, I wish they were. I wish that I could share my success with them and say, thank you. Interestingly, I just came across a tape. My mother would tape record conversations on the phone with people, and they didn't know that this was happening. And I hear on the phone, the voices of my mother and my father. And I'm hearing them talk about me and worry and life was complicated, but there was so much love there and I got to hear them for the first time talk about their honeymoon. My dad said, remember the honeymoon, Colleen? Remember the honeymoon? And she was like, yeah. I could hear him, he was purposefully kind of <laughs> grinding her down and getting her to that sweet spot where he, where she remembered the romantic era of their life. I was amazed because I only ever got to know them as individuals. They never had a unified front parenting me, really. I think that the realization that came from me, finding this audio tape of hearing my parents talking about parenting me, it proved to me that no love is ever wasted. 